Welcome back on to some national news now. Well, the government has finally given into the opposition's demand to launch a joint parliamentary committee probe into the 2G spectrum scam. In an all-party meeting called by Lok Sabha Speaker Meera Kumar, the government conveyed to the opposition that it will move a resolution which will be followed by a discussion on the floor of the House. And we are looking forward to a fruitful and productive session of parliament. The government on its part is ready to discuss any issue which may be brought by the opposition. So I am hopeful that this will be a peaceful, productive session of parliament. A lot of legislative work has to be accomplished. The budget of the central government has to be passed. And this, therefore, is truly the most important session of parliament. And the opposition has come down heavily on the Prime Minister's comment at the television editors meet that he is not as much as a culprit like he is being portrayed. Our Prime Minister came to the TV on the TV. He said that I am not so much as a culprit as you are telling me. I am not so much as a culprit as you are understanding. So I asked him, how much of a culprit are you? How much of a culprit are you? अगर आप ये कहते हैं कि मैं उतना नहीं हूं तो कितने परसेंट है एक लाख छहत्तर हजार करोड़ का घोटाला हुआ इस सीएजी कह रही है राजा बजाएगा बाजा यूपीए का ऐसी हालत हुई Meanwhile, the NDA is holding a mega rally in Haryana to protest against UPA government. Senior NDA leaders, including BJP Sushma Swaraj and ADU Chief Sharad Yadav, are part of the rally. Upping the ante against Manmohan Singh-led government, BJP claims that UPA is ailing with corruption and bad governance at all levels. Moving on, talks have begun between the Orissa government and mediators selected by Maoists on the release of the district collector of Malkangiri and the junior engineer kidnapped by Maoists on Wednesday. The crucial meeting began amidst tight security soon after the arrival of the two Hyderabad-based interlocutors, Professor Hargopal and Professor Someshwar Rao, Orissa Home Secretary UN Behera and Panchayati Raj Secretary S. N. Tripathi. Now, they represent the government in the talks for the release of these two people. We are mediators of both the government and the Maoists. We are middlemen. We are just mediators. It's not a question of the putting pressure on the government or putting on the pressure on the Maoists. We will see both the sides and then we will see that how the problem can be resolved. Well, after almost a week of questioning following his detention at the Indira Gandhi International Airport, Pakistani singer Rahat Fateh Ali Khan will be going home. But this, after the Directorate of Revenue Intelligence, has finally charged him under the Customs Act for carrying undeclared foreign currency worth more than 60 lakh rupees. After more than 50 hours of questioning, Pakistani singer Rahat Fateh Ali Khan and his manager Mahroof have been charged under the Customs Act. A week after they were held at Delhi's international airport for carrying 1,24,000 US dollars without declaring it. And after the customs authorities decide the amount of fine they have to pay, a process that will take about two days, their passports will be returned and they can go home. Rahat arrived in India on the 2nd of February and performed at seven places countrywide, for which he was paid partly in foreign currency. During questioning, Rahat has maintained that he was unaware of the law and it was his event manager, Chitresh Shivastav, who handled the transactions. Rahat may be free now, but investigations against those who paid him are still on. The Department of Revenue Intelligence has carried out raids at Chitresh Shivastav's event management company and foreign exchange dealers in Mumbai in an effort to find out the source of the foreign currency. Once investigations are complete, the Income Tax Department and the Enforcement Directorate will charge the others in the case. With Kashish in New Delhi, Aparna Das for NDTV. And Chennai dedicated an evening to honor achievers with disabilities, those people who did not let their disability come in the way but translated them to go beyond personal triumph and soar beyond conventional barriers to realize their chosen dreams. Kevin Care and Ability Foundation honored them at their annual award ceremony here. Harman Singh Sidhu from Chandigarh loved fast driving until he met with an accident 14 years ago which left him crippled. But the tragedy inspired him to dedicate his life to spread awareness about safety on roads. Sidhu now works with the traffic police in Haryana. If we talk about walking, that 
thing was totally out of the situation so the rehabilitation time took more than two years and then I started thinking and working in the field of road safety. Dubbed as the girl with golden hands, Babli Gambhir of Madhya Pradesh excelled as a beautician despite her deformed limbs. Uh, me getting selected um, uh, from so many nominations, I'm really, really happy and you know I feel my all the hard work paid off today. Cavan Care and the Ability Foundation jointly present the awards annually to these special people for their exemplary determination and vision. Whenever I want motivation and inspiration, I think of them. A family who believes in you with optimism and faith, believes in aiming high and reaching for the stars with confidence. This is what every single award winner of the Kevin Carability Awards through all these years will vouch for. Such stories do act as an inspiration to others. Their motto, leave no stone unturned to achieve your goal. In Chennai, with Sri Prapanch, this is Kuku Alex for NDTV Hindu. And let's now take a quick look at the gold and silver rates for today. Well, the Kiwis squash the Kenyans as they take home the baggage of the worst World Cup total ever. More on Kenya 72 when we come back. <laughs>